Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an NFT collection using a Web3 tool called Third Web. Now, Third Web provides us with a bunch of cool tools that we can actually use to build NFTs with no code. And they actually have some pretty cool SDKs if you're looking to maybe just develop your own Web3 application or dApp. But in this tutorial, we're going to keep it really simple with the no code tools that Third Web has on top of their website. Now, before we jump onto my computer and get started using Third Web, if you folks aren't subscribed to this channel already, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to make as much Web3 videos as possible, showing and educating people how to go ahead and use these tools to build dApps and other NFT stuff in the Web3 space. So again, if you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. So let's go ahead. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in and let me show you folks how to do this. So on Third Web's website here, you can see you can read through it a little bit more if you choose to do so, but we're just going to start building. It's going to ask you to go ahead and connect with your wallet. So we're going to go ahead and connect with a MetaMask wallet here. Now you're going to see a list of pre-built template contracts that Third Web has built for you. You can go ahead and choose any one of these contracts. Now understanding a little bit more about each contract and what they do will better help you choose what you need for your specific need depending on the project that you're building. Now this project, what we're going to be doing is just launching a PFP NFT collection. So what we're going to go ahead and use is a signature drop. So on here, we're just going to select our signature drop here and you can go ahead and click on any of the contracts. You can read a little bit more about them just to make sure that they are the correct contract type that you want to use. But we're going to use a signature drop. We're going to hit deploy. We're going to go ahead and then name our project here. This is going to be a cool friends tester and we're going to upload a photo here. So I'm going to go ahead and select one from my collection here. We'll upload that as the photo. So go ahead, fill out this information here. It's going to autofill your wallet address that you use to connect with your payouts and royalties. You can actually set your royalties in here as well. So you can say like something like 3%. And at the very bottom, it's going to ask what network and chain you want to deploy on. We're going to do this on the Mumbai Matic network. This is Matic or Polygon's testnet. So we're going to choose that one there and we're going to hit deploy now. I'm going to switch our network really quick and hit that deploy. It should pop up with a MetaMask transaction to go ahead and deploy this on the test net. We'll go ahead and confirm that and wait till that goes ahead and deploys. Now, while we wait for that to deploy, this is just a heads up. I do already have the artwork and the metadata for this project already created. I'm not going to go over it in this video. I'll create a separate video and how to use something like IPFS to go ahead and store your images as well as how to get the metadata all created for your NFT project. But this is assuming that you already have all of that stuff created. And this is just how to go ahead and create the smart contract itself. And once it goes ahead and deploys, you'll see that on your dashboard, you now have access to your NFT collection. You're going to notice a few things here at the top. We're going to go through each one really quickly. Explore up here. You can see that these are all the different write and read functions of your smart contract. What you're going to see here in events, the next tab over, this is going to be all the events and transactions that happen on top of your smart contract for your NFT collection. Next to that, you have your NFTs. You can see right now we don't have anything loaded. There are no NFTs. So what we're going to go ahead and do is add our NFTs that people are going to be able to mint from this. So if we go to batch upload here, we can go ahead and import our metadata. So let me go ahead and grab that really quick. My metadata is this folder right here. We're going to go ahead and upload that. And then you can see here we have our metadata on the right, which are different properties. We have the token name, which is friends number one. And this is the image that uh, or the NFT that people are going to receive when they mint the NFT. So you can see here that's number two, three and so forth. I think this is a collection of 50 NFTs. So you can see we have all 50 of our NFTs right here. We're going to go ahead and hit next and we're just going to reveal upon mint. You can have a delayed reveal and placeholder image, but we don't have one for this project. So we're just going to reveal it upon mint. We're going to go ahead and upload our 50 NFTs here. We'll go ahead and put through that transaction. And you can see here now we have all of our NFTs loaded into our contract. Next over is claim conditions, which is actually what we see this little alert box here. Uh, it's asking us to set a claim condition. So we're going to go ahead and add a claim phase here. You can select the date. So if you want to choose a future date when this mint will be available, you can do that. 
how many NFTs will be in this drop? We have 50. How much would you like to charge for each NFT? Now, this is going to be within whatever currency you choose here on the right. Uh, we're just going to make it free. This is just to show you how to go ahead and create the NFT collection. Who can claim the NFTs during this phase? If you're doing an allow list, you can do specific wallets. This is going to be an open mint, so we're just going to select any wallet. But if you did have an allow list or something, you could choose specific wallets and go ahead and drop a CSV file here with the wallet addresses associated to who is allowed to mint. But we're going to keep it at any wallet. How many NFTs can be claimed per transaction? We're going to leave this at one so you can only claim one per transaction and you can also set how many seconds do wallets have to wait in between claiming so we can actually say 10 seconds uh, and that means once they mint one they have to wait 10 seconds before they can mint another now we can go ahead and save the claim phase again we'll just pay that gas fee right there All right once that has saved you can also go over to permissions now in permissions, this is where you can set the admin addresses. So who can grant or revoke access to the contract? You can add more addresses in here if you have other teammates or something, or you're working on a team and they need access to the contract. You can also add in contracts here, determining who can mint and create new tokens on the contract if they need to make new NFTs or anything like that. And transfer, you can make the NFTs in your collection non-transferable if you choose to do so. So no one can sell them or post them or transfer them to other wallets. We're gonna leave it transferable because people can go ahead and sell them on the secondary market. Now, embed, this is where you can actually go ahead and you can see a preview down here. And this is where you can take this embed code right over here. It's an iframe piece of code, and you can actually take this and input it or embed it into a no code website or your website if you already have a website. And what you will see is this preview down here at the bottom. And there you go. That in a nutshell is how you can really quickly create an NFT project using third web and their no code tools. Now, the process that I took you through is through their online web app. You can go ahead and use this to build your NFT project if you choose to do so and just take this snippet of code and go ahead and input it into your website. Now, third web also does have a bunch of powerful SDKs that you can actually use and you can actually code and develop your own web three dApps if you choose to do so. But just to show you folks how the minting and everything works and show you that it does work, let's go ahead and let's test mint a NFT right now. So down here, back in the embed section here, we can go ahead and choose different themes. So if we choose the dark theme here, you see this is what will show up on top of our embedded code. We can actually change the button colors as well. So maybe we want to make it yellow. You can see you're going to have a wallet connect button here. They can switch their network, switch accounts, disconnect if that's not the wallet they want to use. And if they want to mint an NFT, all they got to do is you can see here, remember we set the limit to one, so you can't mint more than one NFT. And if you come here, the mint is free. We didn't put a price on it. Go ahead and click that. They should have a transaction that pops up on their wallet here. They just need to go ahead and put that through. Once it goes through, we'll wait right here and we should have one out of 50 minted. And there you go, the mint was successful and you can see now that one out of 50 has been minted. And now that third web's embed code works and all our contract stuff will work, let's go ahead and add it to a website. Now I'm gonna use Squarespace for this example. It's what I run my own personal website on right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create an extra page and show you folks how to go ahead and implement it. So really quick on Squarespace here, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a block and normally no code website builders will have some type of embed block in it. You can go ahead and just take the code snippet we're going to go to embed data this is where we're going to add our code into so we're going to come here we're going to take this code here we're just going to simply paste it in and hit save now if i come over to my website that i just built blockstudio3.xyz test you can see here that we have our embedded minter of our nft that we just put so we can go ahead and actually mint another one here wait till that metamask transaction comes up we'll go ahead and confirm the gas there and there you go. We went ahead and successfully minted one. You can see here, not enough time has passed with the transaction. So when you actually do use the embed code here, remember we sent a we set a 10 second timer before someone can mint another NFT from here. So they won't be able to hit that mint button until 10 seconds has passed. And you can see now we have two out of our 50 
uh, from our NFT collection. And there you go. We went ahead, built our NFT project using Third Web's web app. We went ahead and took that code, implemented it into a website, and you can very easily and simply and quickly create an NFT project. And now, if you folks did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. I'm posting a bunch of tutorials on how to use Web3 tools and how to develop things in the Web3 space. If there's something that you folks want to see in particular, drop it down in the comments below. But again, I hope you folks really enjoyed this video and until next time, see ya.